Hey, thanks for checking in. Um, today I'm going to be building the uh, brick rocket stove. If you haven't seen these, um, they're amazing. I mean, I, I just can't. It, it's the best way to utilize um, wood for cooking that I've seen out there. So anyway, I'm going to show you quickly how to build one of these um, using just standard bricks. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 bricks is what this one's going to call it, and a piece of wire. There's an option, so I'll show you what we're talking about. So, alright, anyway, um, you're going to start out with a full brick. And then in the back here, you're going to run a brick this way. So you're going to have like an L shape. And then here's where one of your half bricks come in. Pardon my back. Um, you take one of your half bricks and you just stick it on the end here. I like to put the cut part out in the back there. And then you take another full brick and you line it up right in here. So I'm going to make sure you all can see what we've got going on here. That's what you have. The full brick, full brick, one of your half bricks, and a full brick. Now, um, here's where the variation is. Some people put another brick in here. I like to I just have a piece of wire. It doesn't see it's not perfect. I mean, it's even short here. But here's where you can start your fire and get airflow in, and then you build your fire on this top deck right there. So that's how I like to do it, okay? I'm um, going to set you down here and let you see the next row. The next row, you're going to take your another full brick, and you're going to put that down here, like so. And you're just going to have this sitting on the edge. So great. And you're going to take your piece of brick, put that in the back there, and then you have a full brick to tie in over top your half brick to tie in over your half brick and your full brick and then you place another half brick I mean another full brick over that and see how this cage is caught in there so okay I apologize for moving around I just want to make sure that you're seeing this and you totally understand okay next row you're going to start off with a brick here and make sure you have it where it catches just the very edge of that I mean if at all possible if not it's no big deal because you'll see later and then you want to lock in everything else so again I'm going to lift you up and let you have a look just how that goes and just sort of locks everything in I mean this does not have to be fancy or anything you'll see this alright let's keep you lined up and then your final row again you're gonna overlap you'll overlap this part right here which will secure this up even if it's loose it's fine because you gotta put another brick here and your final brick will be here okay let me let you see the top of it. Now I've seen other ones where they actually go another row higher. I don't know. You'll have to determine what's best for you. I sort of like this lower. Um, keeps the flame more focused. Uh, kind of more focused on where you need it to be. And what I like to do is I will cap it off with one of these. And I just set it on top. That gives me a pot holder. You know I can set my Pot up on top of there, still gives you some distance. This isn't a pot, but let me show you, see? So, this works out so good. I mean, you, you'll be amazed. You need to build one and see. Now, here's how you do this. You just take some branches, and I have a little flower pot down here that my wife uh, uses around. I use this for cookouts. So, I will, so if you, if you are in a survival situation, this is definitely the way to go. But if you just want to use minimal amounts of wood and just have another burner going, I mean, this thing is incredible. And you just break them off and you kind of stuff them in there. And then once you get the fire going, of course, then you go into your bigger pieces. Pardon me, sorry about that. And you just line your pieces up inside here like this. And as they burn, you just slide them in. So let's see if we can get something going here. I'm not going to do a full burn test. And again, I'm using cotton balls with wax. It's just, you just can't beat it for starting and lasting. So I'm going to slide them back here. That one's lit off of the other one. 
and we'll just wait and see it burn here for a minute. And again, the only thing you gotta do is just get it going. All my wood is wet. Um, not really set for a burn test, but we're gonna give it a try. Either way, you'll see. You see how it's built. Um, I'm really rushing my fire here. You would want to do, you know, a better job of getting your fire started, but you will still get to see what I'm talking about. I'm just getting something fed in here. Again, all my wood is wet, so this may not turn out to be a great burn test, but I'm not trying to do the burn part of it right now. If it works, it works. If not, you're still going to see this video because it's not that big of a deal on that part of it. And I'll have to show you another time, but... Alright, let's get some fire going in there. Alright, just so you don't have to wait, I'm going to put you on uh, the, for the modern um, camera tricks. We're going to go from this to a fire in a minute. So, hold tight, we'll be right with you. Alright, through the magic of video, welcome back. Uh, what I did is I stuffed some leaves down in the bottom here. Just picked them up off of, around my patio here. Um, I got my sticks in here. Um, I stuck a couple of sticks up in the top there. And what's going to happen, and even threw some leaves down in there. And what's going to happen is, see the flames coming out of there? It's going to create a draft. And all these little tiny pieces of wood that's laying around in your patio or in your yard, you're going to be able to cook with. So let me back you up here. And I mean, literally, you're cooking a meal with sticks and twigs that are laying around in your yard. So, I mean, this is, like I say, the best use of wood that I know out there. I mean, even the open fire, it just sucks it up so fast. This focuses all the flame right where you need it. So, go ahead and build yourself one. Really simple. If you have any questions, comment down below. Um, try it out. I mean, I, I will use, like I say, I've, I've built this. I'll be cooking on the grill, and I will put um, a pot with water and throw corn in it, throw butter in it, some Old Bay in it. We're from up north, even though I'm um, Pennsylvania, but it's, you know, um, put a, some Old Bay in it, and uh, the corn cooks. It's another burner outside. It actually costs less to boil that pot of corn than it does to run my grill. I'm using a couple of little sticks. So try this out. It's a good project. Have a good one. Thanks for checking in.